Hello everybody, welcome back to another Saturday Anything Goes. I hope you guys are having a great, great weekend. Weather has been so pretty here that uh, I'm enjoying getting out when I can. So what are we going to work on tonight? Well, I like to start getting ready for the holidays about now. And the reason I do it so early is yeah, I just can't trust fate. Let me just tell you. November 2017, hubby had a stroke. November 2019, hubby fell and broke his hip. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to get the holidays out of the way just in case November of this year brings any unwanted surprises. Um, but we're not going to make a card or a box or anything like that. I have a different kind of a project for us tonight. I was just perusing the aisles at the Dollar Tree. Uh, it's right close to my house. There's hardly anybody ever there. So when I get cabin fever, that's generally where I go. And you can get some not very well made, but still kind of cute frames. Uh, so I picked up this silver one. And yeah, it's plastic, not wood. But you know, with the silver finish, it doesn't look too bad. And what we're going to do is... We're going to dress this up and make it really, really pretty. Let me tell you what I mean. I was so delighted when I looked at the holiday, or mini catalog as they're calling it, um, to see that our Feels Like Frost paper from last year is making a return appearance. This, guys, was my absolute favorite holiday paper. Just look at how gorgeous these papers are. I mean, when you're making a card, you really don't have to do too much to them to have just a really pretty card. So I thought, I definitely want to use these again. Um, but what we're going to do tonight is we're actually going to put one of these inside the frame and then we'll decorate up the outside of the frame with um, our sentiment and some snowflakes and such. Uh, we'll do a little bit of heat embossing, a little bit of stamping, a whole lot of gluing down of stuff, and um, I think you're going to like the project. So let me show you. I showed you briefly just there's 10 different designs in the Feels Like Frost. Uh, I only showed you nine papers, and that's because my favorite one to use for this project is this one. It is so, so pretty. And so let me just... Take the frame apart and let's get started on it. Let me see who else has joined us. Hello, Linda. Hi, Roz. All right, so I'm just going to be very careful because, like I said, this is not the best made thing, but it'll work for what we need it for. Uh, so I have it all apart. And what I did was this paper is six by six. I actually laid my glass down to get my width measurement. And my width measurement is actually five inches. So I lopped off one inch from the side. And then I left the rest of it at six inches because I'm going to glue it so that you can't, even if the frame shifts a little bit, you won't be able to see anything behind it. And even if you did, we're going to back this with a piece of Knight of Navy paper. So this is cut to six inches by five inches. And what I'm going to do, I use this as my template, but don't need that anymore. What I will do is I will glue these pieces onto the card. Now, Linda, you say, wait a minute, what's this? You cut it all in pieces. Yes, I did. Um, I used some of our stitched rectangles, and I think it was the third from the top and the fifth from the top most um, that I used to cut these out because I'm going to stack these uh, to give it even more depth. So that is another reason I wanted to use the Knight of Navy. That way, if you see a little bit peeking through when they're, you know, if you're looking at it from the side, you'll see this really nice paper that coordinates with it rather than um, just that ugly paper <laughs> that comes with it. So that's my first plan of attack. I am going to remove the glass because this is what I'm going to keep referring to to make sure that I'm getting my papers on there um, correctly or, uh, you know, lining them up so that they're centered. So 
Let me take my pieces and so I'm going to use this and just determine where my top and bottom are going to be. So that looks about right to me. And what I'm going to do is make just a little pencil mark that we won't even see because it's going to be on the Knight of Navy where the glass is. And that way I should be able to line up all my cut pieces without any problem. So let me put that glass away and let's start doing this. So this piece I'm going to glue straight down to the um, cardstock. So let me get out my glue here. And look the backs, aren't they beautiful? They're all white and silver with snowflakes and um, frosted greenery. It's just a beautiful, beautiful pattern paper set. And I'm being very generous with this because uh, the reverse side is uh, embossed with foil. So we want to make sure that it's going to stick. And I use the liquid glue to give me time to make sure that I line it up correctly. Get it all straight just like that. So that's our first layer done. Now we'll take our second layer and I'm going to bring in our Stampin' Dimensionals. And this is going to give us some um, height and I want to see if I need to use my minis. So let's see if that's going to work here. It'll work on that, but will it work on the sides? Because I don't want it to show through. Let's see. Yep, it will work on the sides. So I can go ahead and use these. Now if you didn't have, uh, if yours was cut a little shorter and you didn't have any of the minis, you could simply just cut these apart and that would work too. Oh, hang on guys, I forgot to silence my phone. Okay. That was my brother from out of state just calling to check on me. He's such a good brother. He calls every week. I'm terrible at keeping in touch. I just, for so many years, I did online training, so I was on the phone for hours and hours every day that now that I'm retired, I really don't like to talk to people on the phone. Okay, so I think we've got enough here. I'll peel off the back. Oh, and ignore my funky little wrap here. About 30 years ago, I actually broke that wrist in two places. And every once in a while, I don't know if I have arthritis in there or what, but it just flares up. So, okay. Now, here's the important thing. I almost did it upside down. Is making sure that our patterns are together. Obviously, if I put it like this, it wouldn't look very good. So, just to make sure that... You've got your pattern lined up, and you should just be able to drop that right down. And see, like I said, you may see a little bit of the Knight of Navy peeking through, but it goes well with the paper. All right, we have our last one to put up, and we want this to stand even further away, so I'm going to put double dimensionals on. Let me show you what I mean. So I've got two here. I'll put one there, peel off the backing, and then stick another one right on top of it. And that is going to double it up and give me the height that I need. I used to, this would be a good project to use our little foam strips on, but I've used all mine up and forgot to order them. So thank goodness I have dimensionals. make sure I think I did I yep I guess I did take that one off sometimes I forget to take the backing off of the bottom one and then I'm gonna put one in the center just to make sure it doesn't sag at all all right peel off all these backings and we'll get this one set down and then we can put 
the frame back together again. All right, so let me bring this one down. Pardon my head if it gets in the way, but I do want to try and line this up as best I can so that my pattern matches. And there we have it. And if you look, if I turn it on its side, you can see that each layer stands up just a little bit more than the one behind it. And that's what's going to give us that additional depth that we're looking for. Okay, now I can bring in all of this. And I'm going to have a little bit more thickness. So I'm hoping this will still slide on. It was a pretty tight fit before. Come on, you can do it. Here we go. All right. So there, as you can see, we have our uh, little landscape, if you will, that is, has those layers that really help give it depth and dimension. And it looks really pretty on the inside. Now we need to work on the outside. So I was kind of pondering what I wanted to do um, to decorate the outside. And since it's silver, I did want to use our metallic ribbon. This is the silver with the Whisper White. So we'll probably make a bow. I also want to put a sentiment on it. And I decided that an oval would look nice down here in this corner. That way it leaves our um, eye to kind of follow up that way. And there's a sentiment in Snowflake Wishes that says, may your season sparkle. And I really love that sentiment. So I have it already mounted and we are going to heat emboss this. So let me get out my little embossing buddy here. Make sure that I wipe off all of the oils, sticky fingerprints, anything like that. This is really an important step to make sure that you only get your embossing powder where you want it. Then I'll bring in the Versamark and ink up the sentiment. And again, pardon my head if it gets in the way. Go ahead and stamp that down. Got a good imprint. So let's bring in, I'm going to use our silver embossing powder. Just to keep with our silver theme. And see, by using the embossing buddy on it, you don't see embossing powder anywhere else but where my sentiment is. All right, let me mount this on my little cheese board. Why do I have, use a cheese board, you ask? Well, because it, it helps to keep the paper from warping when I have it on a surface that's kind of hard and flat. And plus, that kind of absorbs the heat. Now, it's going to get a little noisy. I'll try to hold it under the desk so you can still hear me. And what I'm doing right now is just warming it up a bit because if you warm it up before you bring it to the paper, then you won't have to spend um, actually doing the uh, heat to the paper. All right. So here we go. I absolutely love watching it turn from that kind of matte silver into the beautiful, beautiful foil. So there we go. Put that away to cool. And now I'm ready to go ahead and cut my oval. So I'm going to get a little bit of post-it tape here. So I want to make sure that I get it centered just like that. And I'm going to just spin around and put this on my Big Shot. And we'll have it ready in no time.
Okay, so who's watched some good movies? I am watching the Harry Potter ones, as per whoever it was last week, that suggested they'd be good to revisit, and I'm having fun doing it, but already wondering what to do for the next one. I am just really tempted to take out an HBO subscription for just a few months. I think you can do that online for just a few months rather than, you know, a year or so. Because that looked like there are some really nice series that are coming up. Okay, so there's our May Your Season Sparkle. And like I said, I think I want to put it like right about there. And I can attach it with a few glue dots because I could even also put uh, two or three dimensionals there to support it from that side. And I may do that as well. So let me do that right now. Uh, where'd you go? Put them down and now I can't find them. Here we go. And I'm just going to put them on this one area here for now because I think I'm going to want to slip some ribbon behind it as well. So let me start with two. And let's see if two would be enough. No, not even. Three might not even be enough, but we'll give her a whirl. All right, let's see if that's going to work. Actually, that's perfect. That is perfect. All right, I'm going to go ahead and attach it. Now, it's going on to glass, so it'll probably be pretty easy to take off as well. But we'll, we'll see how much attaching we need to do. I just want to lightly attach it there for the moment. Because prior to this, I went in and from the... Ow, darn it. Uh, so many snowflake dies. I cut out a bunch of snowflakes. So let me show you which ones I used. And I'd only used these, I think, one time before. Because I thought, oh, this will be a cool one to cut out, right? Mm, no, it actually doesn't cut out a snowflake. It cuts out the paper to have a snowflake cut out on it. So <laughs> that one didn't work. But I used this one. And then, as well, these two. And I just went in and I cut them from all kinds of different uh, paper. Glimmer paper. So I've got Balmy Blue. And this just came out with the new annual catalog. So I have a few of those. These are so delicate in places. So I've got three of those. And then... I have this beautiful, let me bring it up, I hope you can see, it is like holographic. It is just gorgeous with all the sparkles. So I cut some out from that, and then I also cut some out of silver. Because, you know, again, we're using silver, right? So I have lots and lots of snowflakes. I'm not sure how many of these we will actually use, because now we get to the fun part, which is... Linda trying to figure out, yes, Kathy, it was you, about uh, Harry Potter. Um, now I get to try and figure out a design. And sometimes it just comes right to me when I start laying them down. And other times it's like, oh, somebody help me. All right. I won't use all of these, but I know I definitely, that one's going to be, I think, too big for there. But I think I definitely want to put one there. And I think I like the blue, although let's look at the silver. I mean, the silver's pretty, but there's so much silver on the frame that I want this one to really stand out. So that one, I'm just going to go ahead and attach it now because that won't move. Come on, glue. There we go. Just a few dabs here and there on the bottom half. And then we'll glue that down. All right, I like that one. Now, before we get too far, though, I also mentioned maybe putting some ribbon. So let's see. I'm just going to lay that here for now and see. I do want some snowflakes behind. 
So let's take, we got this middle one that I could use. Again, it's just, it blends too much with the frame. Let's see if a white one would work or a sparkly one. You know, I think, I think I really am going to like the balmy blue the best. There's just already so much silver, so I can tuck that one there. I could use a little bit of the white. Let's pick up this small one and see. I could put that one down there. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I'm kind of liking that kind of liking that. I think I want this one instead of that great big one. The big one, the arms are just so flimsy. Here's what I'm talking about. That they will just turn sideways in a heartbeat. So if you're gluing it down flat to something, they're beautiful. But for something like this where they're actually going to be sticking out a little bit, yeah, I, I think that it'd probably be better to use the smaller ones that have a lot of surface that you can glue. All right, let's figure out the ribbon here. So I kind of have an idea that I want those. Bring out my little bow maker, cause you know me, I can't make a bow to save my life. And let's see if a bow is gonna even look good. And I want a big fluffy bow. Well, not necessarily big. That's gonna be way too small. This has got to be bigger. All right, let's try that. Because remember, I, I can still sneak it underneath because I only have that one area glued down. All right, let's see how this will look. And we may like it, and then again, you know, we may not like it. But this is kind of the process I go through every time I'm trying to put together design elements. Come here, you. And yes, I'm sure we'll probably throw some rhinestones because we need more sparkle, right? All right, so, ooh, I tied that one really tight. Let me just cut this. And let's see if I want to put this anywhere. Fluff out my different loops here. Now, I could put that down there, but it's actually too big to go down there now. If I had moved that up further, maybe. I could tuck it up here, put those tails underneath, and just have it peek over like that. But that kind of takes away from my snowflakes. So you know what? We may not put it on here at all. We'll see. We'll keep that as a thought. All right, let me bring in the rest of my snowflakes here. And, ooh, look, it's cool. I've got the, these little branchy parts that I can actually bring forward to kind of cup our sentiment. And I'm just trying to put just a tiny bit of glue Oh, and I did it on the wrong spot. Oh, well, that's okay. Here, because I want this to stick to the back of our sentiment, I'm actually going to put the glue on that side. And hello, hello, hello. And use this to kind of lift and press. sometimes glimmer paper just doesn't want to stick especially when you're gluing it on the front side so if that ever happens not to worry just bring out your glue dots because they will definitely work so we'll just load this up with glue dots maybe come here you oh for Pete's sake 
stick. Well, blue dots don't want to stick to it either. Hmm. Interesting. See, these are the things you find out. Okay. We'll try a little bit of tearing tape. Boy, I'm bringing out all the guns here. We'll see if a little bit of this will stick. And let's see, I want it right about there. Oh yeah, that's going to stick. Alright, so now I'm going to rub these down to make sure and then lift off the backing. Now, I've never tried to lift the backing off a piece that's this intricate, so we'll see if it's going to cooperate or not. Are you going to? Are you going to? There we go. Yeehaw! It worked. Of course, it's stuck to my finger now, but now I should be able to just raise this up and stick it. Oh, yeah! Alright, so there we go. I got that snowflake there. And then I think I'm going to put that one right there. Oh, I got glue all over my fingers. And I know that this will stick because I'm putting it on the back. Right there. Just going to hold it down. Like that. Alright, so, so far we're looking pretty sassy. I still have lots of snowflakes. So there's nothing that says I can't put them oh look at that that would be pretty can I do a grouping of them or just the one I think I might do just the one I don't know let's see let's see what I can do let's just see what I can do see every time I put a different color it just takes away for how pretty that is now this one, I'm going to try my glue dots again because I'm actually putting the glue dots on the back instead of trying to stick it to the glittery part. So let's see if I can put one here because remember, I don't have a center. I'm having to glue it to kind of the outside. So I'm going to take and put one on each corner that's going to touch. So if I do that, yep, this one. You could also do this with hot glue, and it might even work better with hot glue, but I don't even know where my glue gun is. It's been forever since I used it. But yeah, so that worked really good using the um, glue dots. And let's see, we still have our ribbon. Do we want to use the ribbon? Do we not want to use the ribbon? Because I could put the ribbon up there. What do you guys think? Is that going to be overkill? Should I leave the bow off completely? I could just sneak a little bit of ribbon ribbon underneath and tie some tails. What do you guys think? Karen, thanks for joining and sharing. Always nice to hear from down under. You guys, uh, did you have to go to level four lockdown? Yep, I think you're right, Kathy. I think the bow is just a little too much. So I'm going to quit gilding the lily, except for some rhinestones because we need some rhinestones we need to sparkle 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 now the question is do I use blue rhinestones do I have any light blue rhinestones I have dark blue but no nope, don't like those or do I just use regular rhinestones see I've got ooh 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 
pretty 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 I also have those clear faceted ones oh my 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 Let's see if I have anything else in my little treasure trip here okay so let's see I think I love these but you know I think they're just not going to sparkle enough so that boils it down to these two contenders and the best way to figure this out where did my little there it is is just to and I want you to notice the difference in these okay so they're actually, they're both blue, but this has Knight of Navy in it as well. So it has a lot of depth to it, whereas these are just the balmy blue ones. But oh my goodness, look at that sparkle. Love it, love it. I think I'm going to stick with just the balmy blues. And you know, I think one would be pretty on this snowflake right here. If I can center it. And then maybe a slightly larger one on this snowflake maybe come come get it in the center there we go and then we could actually use this for the balmy blue glitter snowflakes oh I like that and that worked out to be one two three so haha ha, got my got my uh Oh, what do they call that? My artistic... Oh, I can't even think today. Anyway, I got my set of three that is artistically pleasing to the eye. And I think I'm just uh, going to leave it at that for now. I really like that. Uh, I'll probably... Actually, yes, let me get my glue dots because I do need to secure that one corner down. But... Other than that, put that right there. Okay, now it doesn't move around. All right, so there is our project. Now, the really nice thing is because, like, if you wanted to switch out a picture, right, all you have to do is open it up and take that out. If you wanted to change up, what the picture is we have all these gorgeous gorgeous designs to choose from so you could just go in and change it up you know if you put your christmas stuff out at thanksgiving you could change it up every week until christmas easy breezy and that's why i absolutely love that paper so yep you're gonna see that in upcoming ones uh when i start making cards i will definitely be pulling that one out okay gang well that is it for tonight how did we do on time here oh not bad half an hour not bad at all so i hope you enjoyed the project if you go out and decide to make one of your own please post a picture on my page i would love to not only see it but to share it with everyone else here as well always like to see what other people are doing all right so let me just check and see if anybody had a question oh thank you marie hi danette thanks for joining thank you karen yep kathy the bow is pretty but i'm just gonna save it for my next project i have a little bowl i keep right here with all sorts of like these snowflakes will now go in there and I guess I will take my wedding rings out of there but at least I know where they are that way so whenever I cut extras I keep everything in that little bowl so that uh, it's ready for upcoming projects all right gang I will let you get back to your regularly scheduled programming for Saturday night thank you once again for um, joining me and I hope to see you here uh, next Saturday, same time, same station. In the meantime, remember, wash your hands, wear your mask, stay safe. Good night, y'all.